Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you my advent calendar. And it's a simple one that you could recreate yourself. I do this every year. So this is the main part, the advent part. I got it at Real Canadian Superstore a couple years ago. And I love this one because it has the 24th and the 25th. The 16th doesn't want to stay shut right now. <laughs> oh, shut it. There we go. So behind each little door, I've put something, a little ornament that means something to me. So that was just a little present because Christmas Day, what do you get? You get presents. And there's Santa on the 24th because he comes on Christmas Eve. So each door has something different. You could do this with chocolate or candy if you didn't want to use little ornaments. So the ornaments mean something to me. There may be an ornament from my childhood or a vintage one or one that was passed down to me or gifted to me. Sorry, my hair is in the way. So there's Santa. So I'll show you what I have behind some of the doors. So behind door number one here is one of my favorite ornaments from one of my favorite movies, 101 Dalmatians. I believe I brought that back from Disney World. Uh, they used to have a Christmas store year round. I think they still have it. And behind door number six here, there's this vintage silver bell, just like the song, Silver Bells. And this is a wreath that I made. So you can really use anything as long as it will fit in the door, the size of the door. Here I have a little soldier. If I could get him out. <laughs> little soldier. He's holding a little stocking. And this is another vintage ornament. I'm not sure. I know they came from my grandmother or my great aunts, but I don't know where they came from. They're really cute though. They're like felt and you, they have like this twist tie on the back, like a pipe cleaner, so you could attach them to a present or something. So lots of different options. Okay, this one here is a really cute snowman. Again, vintage. This one here, the beaver cutting down the tree. And of course, I have to have one with your name on it, the snow globe with my name on it. So you're probably wondering, what do I do with all the ornaments? Well, I set up a tree on either side, and each tree has 12 numbers on it. As you can see, each mitten has a number, and it just clips on. And then each time you open the door each day, you're gonna find the number on the tree and hang the ornament. So here's the first tree that I have. You could do this with any kind of tree you wanted. I'll adjust the camera here for you so you can see the top of the tree. There we go. So just straighten that tree out. So I alternated the numbers. So here's the first tree. And the second tree. I'll straighten that tree up. So again, it has the numbers, the mittens or the stockings with the numbers on it. And then as you open up each door, you're just gonna find the number and then hang the ornament under it. Except for the 25th. The 25th is presents as I showed you earlier. So you're gonna put those under the trees because where do presents go? Under the tree. As I straighten up the tree here, I'll tell you, last year, I wasn't able to see my niece as often. And so what I did, she was two and a half. I opened up, as I opened up each door, I made a little video and we found the number together. And then we, so we hung each ornament together. So it was a way to be together even though we were apart. So that'd be a great little option if you can't spend the time with someone you love. Now, of course, the trees need tree skirts. So these are just from the dollar store. So I have this one here with the reindeer, with Rudolph there, and this one with Santa. I bought these a couple years ago. And so we're just gonna put them under each tree. So 
put the red one under the green, green tree. And of course, you need some presents under the tree. And I like to add some reindeers as well. There we go, the reindeer under the tree. And then I'll put the other tree skirt, the green one under the silver tree. Straighten that up. And of course we have to add some presents. And I'll add some reindeer as well. That's a cute one, I like that one. Uh, some of the reindeer are from Walmart, Target, and the dollar store, I believe. All from previous years. Then of course you add another reindeer here, the red one. You have to add a Santa. So the Santa and the snowman, they're just from the dollar store. They're on their sleighs. They were from a previous year as well. I haven't seen this version at dollar stores, but I have seen a similar one. So there's the green tree with all the numbers on it. You gotta put a snowman on top of the advent calendar there. He's on his sleigh. And there's Santa and the snowman and some toys. They're getting ready to deliver the toys. So that's my take on a simple advent calendar. Have fun recreating your own. You could use candy or chocolate, like I said. If you don't think you have enough ornaments, make your own. It'd be a great project to do with your kids. Thank you again for watching. I hope to see you soon in my next video. And happy decorating. Okay, bye. Take care.